minimum matinee. I ain't got 750 to pay. Does anyone even want to remember what they were doing back in the 80s? Man, I destroyed any picture of me from that decade. I, I just love picturing Cyrus with a mullet. Co-host, you, you were a, a, a widget, but still wearing a Michael Jackson glove. No, he was nothing but a cult back then. <laughs> <laughs> a little wing nut. Going back in time, it might seem like a good idea, but it really is not. In this film, you got four guys. Well, actually three in one guy's nephew. These four guys are tired of their adult life. One guy's an alcoholic. One guy hates his job. One guy's wife is cheating on him. He can't take it. And one guy is just a 20-year-old nerd. They, they go back to their old ski lodge place. They used, to, they used to always go hang out there. They could get laid, tons of ski bunnies. And they get there, <laughs> and their memories are crushed when the town is just shut down. They do find this one hotel, and in that hotel, they find this magical t hot tub where they get in there, when they start drinking all kind of crazy stuff and going to a whirlwind of a drunken stupor they wake up back in the 80s and it's so funny how they do it because they start walking around and they just start noticing that everything is hot green pink and yellow yeah. <laughs> yeah. even as a black man who would not want to go beyond past the 80s i look at the 80s and i was like damn that's an ugly decade <laughs> but what makes this movie so fun is that it is just so unapologetic and how these guys get along with each other. I mean, they, you can tell that they already love each other, but they're just mean and nasty to each other. And the humor itself is just, it's right up there almost with the hangover. Oh, well, most of that is coming from Rob Corddry, who, uh, wow, but he, this guy has been waiting for a movie where he could break out and show what he could do. And he's had a, like a bunch of stalled attempts, but this is, this is his show. And he oh, plays yeah. the big asshole in this movie. And he almost carries this thing completely. Of course, then you've got the, the, the wrench in the works, which is Chevy Chase. Chase, who shows up as the magical douchebag time oh, machine yeah. repairman who says, don't change anything. I, uh, I thought maybe I could, you know, pull the part from one of the other tubs. But it turns out this is a very special model that you have here. You got to be very careful. I tell you, one little thing is changed. The whole system can go haywire. Do you understand what I'm saying? The whole system can go haywire if you change one little thing. Wait a minute. We need that to get back in time? Well, get back here. I mean, I couldn't tell you all have been to Kodiak Valley before. I haven't. Or maybe not her, but I know that you were here. Che Chevy Chase should be the last person saying that. <laughs> I know, I know. I need to go I back know. and change a lot of shit. have changed some shit. <laughs> it is such a, it's, it's such a cool throwback to some of the stuff that I did like about the 80s. Like, I'm talking bad about the 80s, but I remember seeing movies like Hot Dog and, and movies like Better Off Dead, which John Cusack, who... It's oh, produced on this movie was in. They don't try to hide that they're doing a lot of nod back to the 80s. Well, like Crispin Glover, yeah, who, yeah. I mean, is from one of the best known time travel movies of all time, Back to the Future. Sure. There's a lot of drug use in this movie, sure. and there's not one anti-drug message in this film. It, if anything, it makes you want to go out and do cocaine. Well, <laughs> well, well that's what happened. makes it like The Hangover, is that, A, you got the camaraderie between these guys, and the fact that, like, yeah, they're hedonists, and they, they aren't, like, shy from it. It doesn't take itself seriously. It doesn't ask the audience to take it seriously. There's so much stuff in here that, in other movies, I hate, like, gross-out jokes, but here... They're funny. And, and and I love the way that it also, again, plays by its own physics. Like, mm -hmm. all these guys see each other for some reason mm -hmm. as they are today. But when they look in the mirror, mm -hmm. they're all like they are back then. Yeah. Like, Craig Robinson has, like, this big hot top ice cream cone fade. <laughs> yeah. 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 Co-host, what do you think? Yeah, co-host, you've been over there quiet. Hey, yeah. I, I, For a what, change. What? Because I, was, was I wasn't around in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't relate to your old time old timing story. But, but in your computer banks, <laughs> yeah. surely there's some history files. I tell you what, I love seeing John Cusack in his element. I don't know what it is about just the 80s vibe, but he works so well to where I really like his character. And especially like all the other guys. Even even the new guy. the Clark, the, Duke. The, Clark Duke. Clark Duke, yeah. The, is that the, the kid with the glasses? Yeah. The fat yeah. kid? Who looks like a chick? Yeah, yeah. Looks like an ugly chick? For the people who do not like The Hangover or any of those kind of comedies that are similar, well, then this is not for you. Yeah, go home and play with your mama. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you can tell what I'm saying here, man. I'm solved with some friends who are all guys. We had a good time laughing. Yeah, yeah. This, this is full you, price. I almost wanted to find something to complain about here because this is a type of comedy that more often than not goes terribly wrong. Dude, that, was, that whole movie was great. I want to see a fucking sequel where they go to the future, personally. I'll... I'll Pay for that shit. Watch this take some mushrooms and you'll see. Right? <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. it, it pulls no punches. The comedy is ra as raunchy and raw and adult, but it's also very honest. And uh, yeah, I give it full price. I love the fact that these guys go back to try to fix shit, even though they know let's 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 stop fucking any of this up, and they do anyway. And yeah. you know that's just like that, that's that's awesome to me. And I'm giving this 
A full price all the way. Yeah, the uh, the eighties ain't sounding too bad to Leon right now. He's gonna, he's gonna have us all in his bathtub, naked, trying to wait. It's, just wait, it's gonna happen any minute. <laughs> as soon as the, as soon as the roofies kick in, you guys are gonna love it. Hey, look, or at least I will. This ain't even plugged in. Where are these bubbles coming from? Oh. <laughs> and then Cole jumps in. No! <laughs> Hee <laughs> <laughs>